Hi guys, Matt from the Hockey Players Club and Quest Hockey. Today we're going to work on tips and drills to improve your wrist shot. Today we're going to be working out of our brand new shooting room on synthetic ice and I'm going to be rocking wheels and gloves. I think it's important to try to train as closely to game conditions as possible. So uh, I would encourage you to wear your gloves and if you can put your skates on, great. If not and you need to wear tennis shoes, on concrete or a deck surface that's perfectly okay. Wrist shots are important because they're extremely accurate and they're relatively quick. According to a article posted by NHL shooting coach Tim Turk, Nathan McKinnon scored 72% of his 39 goals in 2017 and 2018 with wrist shots. When taking a wrist shot, I like to have my bottom hand a little bit closer to my top hand. Um, so a rule of thumb is you could hold your stick with your bottom hand, uh, put your elbow to your thumb of your top hand and then grab the stick there and that's a good spot. That's kind of where I like it. It creates more whip action when I shoot. Um, and you want to use the flex of your stick. So in order to create flex with your stick, it's important to get your top hand out away from your body to serve as an anchor. And now your bottom hand can exert force downward onto the ice or the surface to flex your stick and because when you flex your stick that stick wants to return to a straight position so that flex and pop is what can really create speed with the puck uh, when you release so top hand away from your body hands a little bit closer together than normal bottom hand exerting force downward cut your stick down to create flex and let that puck go Unlike a snapshot where you're, you're impacting the puck when you shoot, a wrist shot stays on your blade and you more or less push the puck to where you want it to go. A great way to start is by transferring, working on transferring your weight from your back foot to your front foot. Um, almost like if you've ever played baseball or golf, I often tell my players, you know, when you square up to the pitcher, you load up on your back foot and drive through your front foot. And the same goes for a wrist shot. So you wanna shift your weight to your back foot, load up and follow through to your front foot and point and roll your wrists over to where you want the puck to go. One of the things about a wrist shot is when you pull back, that requires more space and ice. So it's a little bit of a slower shot, um, but you could pull back, weight on your back foot, Puck relatively on the middle of your blade, um, maybe on your a little bit towards your heel and spin the puck when you shoot, but middle of your blade is where I like it. And again, weight on my back foot, and I'm gonna transfer my weight forward to my front foot and roll my wrist over and point at my target. One drill you can work on is to over exaggerate your wrist roll and your point. So when you shoot, stop, look down the barrel of the gun where your blade is and kind of pause for a second or two, uh, just to overemphasize that portion of the, of the shot. This is a great drill to work on weight transfer on a wrist shot. Set up two pucks about a foot or a foot and a half away from each other uh, horizontally. Grab a third puck, and you're gonna start with the puck on your backhand with your, all of your weight, I'd say 95% of your weight on your front foot. And then you're gonna slide the puck between the two pucks. And while you do that, transfer your weight from your front foot to your back foot. Now I'm in a position where I could shoot. Uh, and 95% of my weight is now on my back thigh, right? Butt down, chest up, looking where I wanna shoot. Do it again. So weight on my front, transfer to my back. Once you feel comfortable uh, taking a couple wrist shots from a closed position, try taking them from a more open position with your body square to the net, facing the net, 
and the puck to your side. Shoulders facing the net, butt down, knees bent, puck to my side. And because it's a wrist shot, you need a little bit more ice, so you gotta pull back and grab ice. Point to where you want the puck to go. About 75% of my weight is on the foot nearest the puck. So my weight is more here. Thanks for your time today, guys. We ask that you like this video and be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel uh, to stay up to date with more awesome training videos like this one. If you love talking hockey like we do or connecting with hockey players around the world, or if you just want to stay up to date on everything hockey, download the free Hockey Players Club app. And as always, uh, feel free to reach out to us. And if you have any specific videos you'd like us to work on or topics you'd like us to cover, uh, let us know. Thanks, guys.